हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विद अविनाश दवी हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू यूज अ डेटा डॉक टू फाइंड द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एडब्ल्यूएस ईबीएस वॉल्यूम इट कैन बी डिस इट कैन बी हार्ड ड्राइव आल्सो लेट्स सी व्हाट वी विल कवर इन दिस सेशन why does this utilization matter what is the data dog and how to integrate so let's understand why does this utilization is important as like ram or sqp uses right so while using the ec2 machine we generally have attached the ebs volume or extra ebs volume also okay you might have seen many times there's a error called no space left on device or sometimes 100% utilization state similar kind of error so on this error you might have, you might have taken action by adding the extra volume or might be resizing your current ebs volume but sometime that action we may take late because we got to know very late and this might cause the customer user experience badly effect sometimes you oversize your volume and end up paying extra for so we'll talk about how to avoid this also okay but let's understand what is the disk actually what is the ebs volume what is the disk disk is nothing but like your hard drive or in your cloud instance volume this is not only for use for saving your data or code but it play a very important role in writing and reading operation this has same weightage as cpu or ram every hard disk is a capable of many read and write operation that decide what the ios rate is so it will slow down your instance or pc customer or user end may face issue while accessing the application So this utilization can reach limit like ninety percent, hundred percent, just because code or application demand more read and write operation, which you can't reduce it. So this utilization matters are very important for consumer to know how much storage is under or over utilized, or to optimize the cost of the disk, and also get over any incident. observing this utilization matrix can find out what pattern of usage in general application is expected accordingly you can make a modification to this side now let's understand how do we solve this issue so data dog is one of the tool which can help us to solve this issue So, data dog is one one of the best monitoring and log management platform, where you can integrate your on premises or cloud instances or services to get all the logs and metrics in one place. Data dog provide real time monitoring and event triggering based on the metric threshold or log messages to act upon it. In this image, you can see what kind of services they are providing. like they provide edge installation integration open telemetry dashboard infrastructure event matrices alerting apm continuous profiler log management security synthetic monitoring continuous testing real user monitoring network monitoring serverless mobile application watchdog ci visibility database monitoring observability pipeline universal service monitoring and so much these are the all the services provided by the data dog let's learn now how to integrate data dog with the amazon ec2 for the monitoring the disk utilization of the aws ebs volume now we will see first uh, if you already have aws account you can use that if you don't have that you can go to the aws console and create a new account so i already have that so i'll just go to the ec2 instance here 
and launch chain server because I have not have an initial instance. So I'll just put for the detecting purpose data dog. You see integration. So I'll put a name for it. Okay. And for testing purpose, I just use the Amazon Linux AMI, okay, which is a free tier. I will make sure that even you're using AWS account, you should be used, whichever the free tier eligible. So you will not end up paying the amount for it. Okay. Uh, this is a very important part of the, the training. So I'll just click on, the, let me just put yes, key pair. So I already have a key pair. I just select it here. If you don't have a key pair, you can click on the create new key pair here and just put the names and create a key pair and make sure you don't lose this key pair is very important. If you lose this key pair, you will not be able to access your EC2 machine. But nowadays, EC2 machine has a different way to connect also. Amazon also provide directly EC2 connect from the AWS console that I will show you. Too. Other setting not to require much on that because you are not going to access through this through the web portal. We are just going to do inside the console only. So let's click on the launch instance here. Right. Yeah. So once you click on the EC2 machines here, you will see the data doc, which you name your portal here and it's available is pending state. We'll come back to this once it's ready. Meanwhile, we will just go to the dashboard of the app talk. So to log in here, just go to datadog.com and get started free. Okay, so when you try it free, it is having a 14 day trial period without having paying anything. You can utilize this for testing purpose. So as I already created account, it will may not ask for our details, so let's see, I trial. Yeah, here you've got to give the, all the information, email address, your full name, company standard, and password. And you can create your account from here. Once you sign up here, we can go to the login part here. So I will just sign. Okay, so once you log into the data log, you will see that integration marketplace agent and advanced table, and you can select here. Okay, uh, but if you're doing it first time, you may not see this. You will only see this portion of that particular part, and you have to select your the OS which you are going to use it. So I have selected the Amazon uh, the, uh, Amazon part, okay, AWS. So I will show you that part. So I'll just click on the Amazon Linux here. There is a Descriptions here, select API keys are there and part of this. So I'll just use my existing API key here and it will be updated here. Um, let me see if I EC2 machine is ready. Yes, it is ready to use. I will just click on this, go to the connect, and I can use the EC2 instance connect, which is the AWS console terminal. So no need to have a PIM file for it. Go there and connect it here. Yeah, this is my terminal look like similar like your local machine terminal. Yeah, that's it. I'm able to log in here. Now I'll just go to the settings here. Yeah, I'll just copy this one and paste it here. If we start some installations, let's keep watching it. Nothing to do with that. It will integrate with your SSD key. Uh, so this is actually step for the data doc agent installation in your EC2 machine. So once you install, it will start observing also. There are few steps we have to follow it. Once it's complete, we'll move to the next one. Yeah, I think this step is completed. Now we will just go to setup page again and go for the next command, which is for Amazon Linux installation agent. Like the agent is required a lib x script compact package. So we'll go and install this package in EC2 machine. Yeah,
Oh, we are saying that it required a sudo user. So let's log in with the sudo user and try to install it. Complete. Remove the, now these are the optional steps. It is like when you require any different, because currently we are using the less than, we'll do 7.39 version of the agent. But if the agent is the less than five and six, accordingly you can use this machine, uh, use this uh, script and follow it. So once it's done that, uh, we'll just go to the dashboard and we'll see here. Now we can see you have one host reporting to Datadog. It's still synchronizing and you can see the IP of 172.31.35.93 showing here. We can reconfirm it again here. If you go to here, the private IP at 172.31.35.93. So correct, whatever the new instance we have created that is started synchronizing to the Now, if you click here, you can see here the, the things are there. Now we will see actual things, what we are going to do it. Uh, we have to do it in the disk monitoring, right? So whatever the EBS volume we are using, use, how do we monitor that part? So we'll just click on the monitor, manage monitor, sorry, not here. We'll just click on the metrics, go to the explorer. And here you can add a query. There's an option called add query, add formula. We'll now cover only add query, simple approach one. I'll just click on the add query here and try to search this related you can see there are a lot of the different different options are like like system dot disk dot pre disk dot use disk dot total disk dot use so whichever the app whichever the matrices you have to follow you can start following i just click on disk free from where i have to use it like which dish i have to use it accordingly i can select it here and uh, average by the options are there here there is the multiple Mathematical functions are available, whether we are to see by average, math, mean, sum. I just select the average and the device one. So you can see here to start showing the details here. I'll, I'll just add one more part, uh, this in use, same formula, and one more is this totals. And if you wanted to do it, some right times and right percentage also, what is the thing, sir? Or read time, you can. Go ahead and do it. We'll just add it in that part. So you can see here the all the metrics are showing here, which is how much percentage is in use. Okay, how much total is this size? If you can see here, it's token uh, machine. You go to storage and storage volume is 8 GB. So it's correct. It's correctly showing the 8 GB volume here. 30 percent is showing it because of the OS and everything is it cover that. Currently, we don't have any code inside that. If you upload any file, you can see that it will be get changed to the particular part. And this is the right percentage. Currently, there's no right operation is working on, so it's a flat. Nothing is there in a thing part. So this is how exactly the integrations work. And you might see that how simple the integration. It's just like uh, you have to install the agent and synchronization start very immediately. It syncs every 50 seconds, whatever data is coming on there, and you can find out. Now, if you wanted to uh, use as a dashboard, you can just click on the save dashboard here and click on the new dashboard. So it will create a new dashboard for you. Like for me, my uh, name is here. I can click on the new dashboard here. And whatever the matrices I have used it, it can see in here. You can add a multiple widget and other power pack accordingly here. You can see here the time series, query value, change, distribution. There are multiple uh, graphs are available based on the matrices you can so This is about the dashboard and matrix, uh, the alert creation. Now we will see that how do we see that alert creation in that? So there's a manage mo monitor. I'll just go to the manage monitor, new monitor here. And I see I had to see that matrices, monitor and matrices. I will see whenever there is a change in a threshold. Okay, I, I should get the mail to my email address. So I'll select here matrices for the this one, whenever my disk use or in use go from the Average by device, and here I put the threshold. 
if it my go to more than 70% and give me warning more than 60% uh, so alert will be there. i will say do not notify data is missing that's fine advanced options are there alert recovery assured warning if it recovery also whether you require an alert or not yeah i'll put uh, some this utilization is high and above um, threshold okay, 70 percent and this is the standard one that takes like, if you want to consume like customize this you can customize there is the functions are there you can click on the variables and the variable will be show okay which variable you have to track in the email part but i'll just go to the here and use the standard one and notify yourself to your team member you can select all if you have new me so i'll select my here also which is required standard role data read only role or admin role i'll just select the admin role to the one and just the create the tag so whenever there is a problem will start uh i'll get an email address on that okay so that's about this indications of data drop for disk utilization means the EBS volume utilization from the Amazon AC2 instance. So now we have completed the how to integrate part. So let's look at the, some of the references. So I have written the details blog on it. Uh, here is the link, bitly link. You can click on it here. Uh, we can uh, scan it also by using barcode. Uh, if you're not able to scan it, just type it the 40PJVUUU is a bitly link. And you will land it towards my detailed blog where I mentioned each and every step and that's about this session thank you for watching session don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel